Hey everyone, so in this one, I'm going to be replacing the control arms in my car. These upper ones have busted seals, and it should be a pretty quick fix. And uh, I just got some new OEM ones uh, from Detroit Axle to replace them. Now we're going to go around and get some wheel blocks. So, lost my shoe. And there's a snake. All right, now block off each of the rear wheels. Now we're gonna take off the front tire. We'll start by loosening the nuts while it's still on the ground. First we need to jack up the upper control arm and you can see that the bushing is really shot also need to remove the steering column bolts up here and then there's another one down a little bit lower Got the steering column out, now we can remove the upper control arm and out of the side of the way. The new upper control arm is now in. Now we're going to put the steering column back in. Now it's time to put everything back together. Uh, found a nest or a beehive or something. We're going to do pretty much the same thing with the passenger side, except for we don't need to remove the steering column. So I went for a test drive and the VDC did not like it at all. Being a little lazy, put it back together, I noticed the steering wheel was a little bit off, but I figured I'll just leave it. Did not like that the wheel was pointing one way and the steering wheel was not pointing the same way. Uh, it thought I was swerving and it tried to correct it and so it just made it go crazy and then it eventually just shut itself off. So I need to fix the steering wheel position. All right, fix the steering wheel position, and we're gonna put it back together and test drive it again and see if that fixed the issue. Drive's good, no more squeaking. Now I'll go ahead and get it aligned at a shop. 